Mr Speaker. Sarah Dowie. Well, thank you, Mr Speaker. And just when the Government Administration Committee thought that they had seen the back of me, I rise to take a call um, on this parental leave and employment protection six months paid leave and work contact hours amendment bill. And um, look, I just want to take it down a notch and actually um, pay tribute to Ms Moroni. Um, this side of the House agrees with the spirit of the bill and I have had the pleasure of working with her um, on the Government Administration uh, Select Committee for this bill for a short time before I was um, moved on under the, uh, the able chairmanship of Ms Ruth Dyson. You do miss me and I miss you too. Um, the Government Administration Committee actually does get some very good bills. Order, I'm not involved in this. So, don't sorry, Mr Speaker. <laughs> Uh, we, do, we do get some very interesting, interesting bills, um, including this one, and I also um, have had the pleasure of sitting with uh, Ms, Ms Maroney on the Transport and Industrial Relations um, Select Committee, which heard the Employment uh, Standards Bill, which extended the... Uh, sorry. <laughs> which extended the, uh, the um, paid parental uh, leave... Uh, uh, the, the concept as well. So, look, I, I do have to pay um, tribute um, as, a, as a mother of two, of, of two prem babies to the concept of paid parental leave and to the benefits um, that it provides uh, for women and for parents and for dads, um, connecting them to the workplace and, of course, allowing um, time to bond with baby without the financial stress um, that often having children uh, can bring. So, um, before I begin, I think it's probably important to talk about the, the history of paid parental leave, because if you think about the evolution of it throughout time, it started as, as a very um, almost primitive co concept. When it first came um, into, onto our law books, um, I think it was in 2002, was it? It was simply, um, you know, providing um, protection for somebody's job. And that was the extent of it. And, and since then, it has evolved, and we've seen uh, financial assistance. Um, we've seen it extended to uh, more than just the mother. And um, that's been a good thing. It's, it's, it has slowly evolved. It's been a long road to tow uh, with respect to the lobbying. But as part of that, as each government has extended it, what the government, governments of each, both governments, um, governments of the day have to do is they look at a suite of measures in managing this fine country. And you have to prioritise, um, given that you have limited funds, limited taxes to go around and, and spend on, on social initiatives, you have to decide what you spend it on. And um, on this side of the House, we're about providing a suite of measures um, to best provide for children, um, to allow them to thrive in our community and grow and for families. And as such, um, we do oppose um, this bill um, and the extension that it, it sets out. But I come back to the benefits of paid parental leave. Um, we've, we've heard with some of the um, previous speakers that it is about um, breastfeeding. And yes, certainly that extra time and alleviating the financial um, stress um, on, on parents allows mothers, the biological mother um, with the child, um, to bond and it does um, alleviate the stress to be able to breastfeed. And of course, breastfeeding is acknowledged as providing the right mix of vitamins uh, for baby. Um, but also I acknowledge that you know, breastfeeding is pretty hard. So having that time um, um, to bond with baby and, and do that, hey, that's brilliant if you, if, if you can actually um, breastfeed and that's wonderful. Um, but if you can't, the time still affords um, some benefits to bonding with baby. It, it helps mothers um, and carers mental health when the new baby comes into the home. It, it, it prevents uh, postnatal depression in, in women, um, which, Postnatal depression can have real, really devastating effects on, on families and family members. So it is uh, quite a significant thing to overcome. And to have that time and the financial stress alleviated really does uh, make a difference. 
uh, the physical health, health of the mother. They don't call it labour for nothing. Uh, certainly, um, it allows mum to rest um, and, and come back to a, a physical um, strength after having a baby. And it allows for a connection with wider community as well. And that's one of the things that I want to, to focus on because um, a connection in isolated areas with the wider uh, community is something that paid parental leave um, allows and enables. And I had the privilege of attending as the MP for Invercargill, the Mums and Bubs Expo in Invercargill last night. And that was an initiative, an inaugural event that was put together by uh, two young mums to bring people together um, with their young babies, families, uh, to discuss um, the challenges of, of having babies in the modern world. Um, and, and one of the risks that was identified was actually isolation in a community. So if you are away from family members, um, if you don't have the support of your wider whānau, paid parental leave allows you that time to get involved with community groups and to um, strike up camaraderie with other mothers or fathers or families that have uh, young children and children and um, learn from them. And again, um, it's, it's, it alleviates the pressure or that, that uh, psychological stress of, of having children. So um, one of the, I, I talked about this in the first reading, that one of the things that I did as a young mum was to join the space group um, supporting parents about children's education that was facilitated by the Play Centre Association. And that was a group of first-time mothers that came together uh, with babies aged between zero and four months. And it allowed us, we met uh, weekly, and it allowed us to form great bonds together as our children went through the same developmental processes, but also um, it facilitated learning about those processes as we had guest speakers come in to speak to us about different things, different aspects of a child's life. And so not only did we have the education about, about children as mothers um, and fathers, because there were some fathers that, that did that course as well, um, but the camaraderie really uh, was a great um, support for me and for others in that group. And um, as I look back on that course, it was one of the, the courses that I recommended at the Mums and Bubs Expo, but as I look back on that course, you know, some of those people that I went through that space group with are my best mum's friends now um, moving forward. And, and we still have that connection and the children uh, still have that connection. But um, as I come back to the bill, um, while this government opposes the extension um, as it's set out, um, we do believe in a suite of, uh, of measures that we need to put in place to support uh, children, and it's not just about paid parental leave. You know, some of our, our policies, such as free doctor's visits and prescriptions for under 13-year-olds, go to the heart of uh, making sure that our families are well taken care of and our children get the medical help that they need early on in the piece. So we're taking that financial burden off families so that they can get their children to the doctor early if there's some sort of, of, of health issue get them taken care of, get the medication that they need and get them well, to set them on the right path to thrive and become productive uh, members of society. Um, there's, there's many other uh, uh, policies that, that we have in place that, that uh, uh, look to care for uh, children and for families. You know, some of our KPIs with respect to immunisations, making sure that the information, information is out there for parents um, with respect to the pros and cons of immunisation and making sure that the bulk of our kids go through um, being immunised against some of those really serious diseases um, so that the uh, effects of that um, are avoided and mitigated. So, look, this is a government that um, definitely cares about children, it cares about families, but it's about um, a suite of measures, not just paid parental leave. Uh, despite uh, and notwithstanding uh, the benefits of paid parental leave, which are recognised by this government, given that we have extended it uh, from 16 uh, to 18 weeks, or 14 to 16 and then 18 weeks, um, 
we do need to look at, at, at the raft of different measures, the suite of different measures that need to be put in place uh, to care for our families and for our children. So we certainly support the concept of paid parental leave, acknowledge um, Ms Moroni's tenacity of, of raising this again in the House. Um, it's an important debate to have, um, but look, at the end of the day, we have competing priorities, and as such, um, we oppose this bill.